Okay, I just want to give you a quick reminder of uh, one of the main topics on my page is uh, prevention, Civil War prevention, CWP. And um, so the police escalation of uh, extreme debauchery and and uh, and um, oppression. They, uh, that's uh, that's what they do. Is um, uh, very much orchestrated uh, from uh, Satan, the powers that be. You know, people in high places and this, that, and the third, whatever. I just want you to be aware of that very carefully here. So uh, they are not the only dummies uh, complicit. In the orchestration of it I'm very much aware that the dummies like the patrolmen and the and uh, the first grade uh, detectives and very extremely uh, all those everybody under <laughs> everybody under um, the chief the chief of police and the sheriff, everybody under the chief of police and the sheriff are unaware of the orchestration of the civil war that they're orchestrating. That's what they're doing. So just know that much, you know, as you uh, go about your comprehension of the oppression that we we face okay so it's not only them they're just the most notable because it's shocking to see somebody get shot right in front of your face in their face right in front of your face it's shocking to see a man get shot in their face right in front of your face so now <clears throat> they're not the only ones that's a, that's, that's my point so now the uh medical industry is uh complicit and of course it's only the top 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 diggity dogs the rulers of every industry every industry all of them and every one of them media entertainment medical education politics so you need to know that the president of the united states is not the top diggity dog of our politics uh you you may not be aware of that because <clears throat> you you know um intelligent uh black people don't even participate in politics so I don't know why you guys don't do that, but you still have to learn and be aware of how the money that you spend on things, which includes the tribute to the Queen of England, which is called American Taxes, which is collected by the IRS. Uh, you got to understand how these things affect your life. So every industry that you can think of, the top dog, that top diggity dogs are very much well aware of the Civil War orchestration that they're causing in all countries. Okay? So... All the protests that you see in countries all over the world is orchestrated. You understand that? And so they, they want that to happen in the United States. So <clears throat> I said that to first make you aware of it. Secondly, as you uh, go about your studies and go about your day and, and, and try to cope with your emotions that 
you're not tr triggered and steered in the wrong direction by the media. Of course, uh, they're going to trigger you anyway because no one can hear what I'm saying. And I'm basically talking into a tin can uh, in my bedroom. You understand? So, uh, what you need to comprehend about this message is that they're orchestrating a civil war. Okay. So this would include black people fighting and dying in the civil war. So you can see that it's called divide and conquer. Of course, this happens amongst, you know, the blacks against the whites, the blacks against the blacks, the whites against the whites, the rich against the poor, uh, the women against the men, and every other type of combination of division that you can imagine. This is what how they trigger you into those things, and then they put the people who don't care to sleep with it, it, entertainment, uh, laughing, joking, shucking and jiving, dancing, and sex, and drugs. Okay, that's how it works. So know that, and uh, ex you know, develop this message into you know a professional rundown of what what you need to do or what not uh for your audience you know as you're going around talking and at your coffee shops and your poetry bars and things like that uh warn people that we are being steered into a civil war because you know one of my goals one of my top goals of this channel is civil war pre prevention so the more you talk about that i think I, it would just make me feel a, a lot better you know you know i have I really don't you know i do care that it, that you're gonna die but and i'm been preaching for many years uh probably since uh 2008 ish and even when I was in, uh, went to jail over a hundred times, uh, I would tell people to uh, be sure as you're doing your thing out in the world to to uh, be sure to love on black people real hard and uh, things of that nature. I, I warned uh, my little brother. Uh, his name is Freddie Locks Jr. And he died in 2014 or 15. He died. Yeah, that's how I, that's how this works. You know, so uh, that's why I, I that's why I don't preach on it a whole lot <laughs> about. But you know, because when you when you receive the warning. And you're going to need to make sure you adhere to it, uh, lest you die. And uh, repentance is important, so you have to learn how to control yourself. So he was a, a wife beater uh, who wore wife beaters. And he was uh, being haunted by the demons of the people that he murdered. And uh, so he would take it out on his girlfriend's plural and uh every last one of his girlfriends fear me because they think i'm like him so you know as i learned my heritage and 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 <laughs> had considered uh enacting the 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 law that i marry the my brother's wife after they die you know uh all of my brothers you got uh anthony ray Anthony Ray. He's a he's a brother. He died in uh when did he die? Two thousand five ish maybe. I can't remember. So he died, and of course, you know, after they warn these people, they, they they die. So that's why I don't warn people very often. But it's it is very important. 
for you to control your behavior uh, and 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 live a biblical lifestyle. Okay, uh, you see, Master P, he he comes from uh, at the, at the time that he was a child in his neighborhood, uh, his location was the murder capital of the world. I believe that's Nolens, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Nolens. <laughs> and uh, that was the murder capital of the world. Okay, so he lucked up with his... Uh, he lucked up because he, he probably heard a small, still voice that said, told him to do something else because I got something, because God has something else planned for him. And then he finally found God later in his life. I guess he's, I don't know, close to 50 now or, you know, 50-ish or early 50s or something like that. But uh, he found God later in his life. And, uh, of course, he's a, uh, a mogul and, uh, you know, and an uh, OG and all that good stuff. So, although he was supposed to die, like all of us, I mean, like myself, uh, when you repent and understand how to work on and work on and work on and work on and try your best and continue to work on proper behavior, then you live longer. So I always say something to the effect of if you can't make it to 70 years old, then you're wicked. Okay, so... <clears throat> I may have to adjust that because of a Tatiana Jefferson, but who knows what she did in her private life. Okay, because that uh, particular murder, uh, out of all of them, I mean, Amadou Diallo might have been the first murder that kind of affected me quite a bit. But uh, other than that... Uh, the uh the skittles man uh, uh trayvon martin hurt my feelings as well you see we don't know these people but it affects us quite a bit because it can happen to any one of us and i wear hoodies all the time you know and so luckily that doesn't uh happen here for some reason nowadays because i mean we have gangsters in our city and stuff like that i suppose and our city is not as humongous as a la or new york or you know vegas or whatnot we only have like three hundred thousand people in our entire county uh, let alone the city area uh, this is probably only i don't know fifty thousand people in the city area I don't know how 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 do people live in the city. So uh so the police force is not uh as as gangster as other other police forces. They are gangster a gangster uh brotherhood gang the entire uh police concept is a is a gang that uh sprang out of uh the night riders night riders if you don't know you know like if you're old as me <clears throat> you remember the show night rider and you loved it of course you did everybody did and so <clears throat> i learned that the night riders are uh, the ku klux klan and they would ride at night or uh, they, well, they were called the night riders, so they would ride horses anytime, all day long, and not at night, in order to nigger hunt. That's what they would do. They were hunting niggers. And so, uh, when the uh, uh, runaway slave patrol was invented before slavery ended, they were transferred uh, uh, after slavery ended into a police uh force they were transformed into a police force and legitimized now, they were already legitimate before slavery ended because it was perfectly legal to own slaves after slavery ended the slave 
hunters and slave catchers were politi politically correctized. You see how the, the big words that I like to use, my vocabulary is imperfluous. You see? It was politically correctized into the police. You see? And the, sh the sheriff. You know what a sheriff is? Okay. That's the country word for sheriff. I, 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 all the country people kind of laughing right now because they knew that. And you, and you city slickers don't know shit. You understand? So you didn't even know that I was saying sheriff. When I said sheriff. Okay, so now. Civil War prevention. Hashtag that, nigga. Okay, now also perform things that I've performed in my community, okay? Try that. Okay, I own a uh, homeless shelter now. That's great. I'm, I'm, uh, it's better late than never. <laughs> Good Lord of mercy, I'm 41 years old. I mean, I lived in homeless shelters uh, many times, and uh, <laughs> you know, and uh, I've been homeless many times. And then when I got when I got straight, when I got you know semi straight and hood rich, quote unquote hood rich, I allowed many homeless people to live with me. Uh, but now you know it's legitimized real well and real. Uh, wonderful and, and I love it I love it it's coming together nicely we have the location we have the building uh, my uncle lives directly beside it directly beside it he's gonna run the whole thing because he's the actual owner of the place of course it was uh, inspired and motivated by the Holy Spirit that flows through me into other people directly it's a direct link okay and so uh, he's the owner, and uh, I I may consider running it. I mean, he asked me to, but you know the things he asked me to is just kind of like selling me a drink. And, you know, he just but uh, he's great people, and um, a, a savior. And since there are many saviors, he's he's my savior. He's one of my saviors. Of course, the big homie, the ultimate homie, I like to call him. The ultimate homie, Jesus Christ, is my savior. I mean, the top dog. The creme de la creme. But there are many saviors throughout your life that you uh, recognize and give credit to. So give credit to them. Give credit to yourself. Pat yourself on the back. Say, great job. I will be perfect one day. Tell yourself that. Meditate on that. Meditate on the law daily. It's just, I just feel like encouraging today because my lights were about to be cut off. And I told the ultimate homie, I'm paraphrasing, handle that. You know what handle that? You know what that mean? Right. So that's what I did. I told the ultimate homie to handle that. And that's why that's why this morning I posted a, a prayer video because that's what I do. I pray. And so when I'm filthy like I am now, then I can't go to the father and pray to the father in the name of of and reputation of the Holy Spirit and his wonderful son, Jesus Christ. Yahiah Asher Yahiah. I can't go to the Father and ask him for anything when I'm filthy. You see? So when I'm filthy, I just talk to the ultimate homie. The ultimate homie cares very much that you're filthy. And, and and hopes and and, and, and and prays to his father daily that he don't kill you 
for being filthy. And his father honors his prayer every time. So now, the ultimate homie, all you have to do is tell him you need something. You can even do this uh, for the for the, uh, the the incredible mother, the incredible mother, the Holy Spirit. You can go to her and say, "Hey, incredible mother, could you do this and do that? Make sure that you're clean before you do that." Lest you die. And I mean, these warnings are not uh, to be taken lightly. The only way you can die is by God killing you. Satan can't kill you unless God wants you dead. Okay? So these coincidences of death and all the deaths that happened, the, 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 the 55 deaths that occurred as, as this video was being recorded, and the 120 deaths that will happen after I post it are all caused by your disobedience and, and pissing off the father, the mother, and possibly the son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure he's angry just as well. Of course, because we're all angered at the same things. We are angry at your disobedience and, and lack of repentance. We're very angry at that's it. That's the only thing we're angry about. So we need you to repent. We need you to become one of us. We need you to become God for real. Not the play play God, the cartoon, cartoon, imaginary in your mind God that you talk about. I'm God and I'm, I'm a queen and I'm a king. How? You're not ruling any land. You're not ruling any subjects. You're not a king or a queen. A God rules kings and queens. So how are you a God? It's impossible. You have a God. It's Satan. Satan rules all of you clowns. You see? So there are two, there are two uh, teams. There's the truth. And then there's the, the lie. Then you have Satan, the top dog of the liars. The father of lies. Of you, 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 you children. You lying children. You 50, you 50 and 60 year old lying children. That's what you are. And then you have the father of reality. The ancient of days is what, what I call him. I don't you know who, who, who knows his name. No one. I mean, probably one of the angels knows Uriel, Jesus Christ. Uriel is Jesus Christ, uh, possibly uh, wisdom, the Holy Spirit possibly knows his name, but name has everything to do with reputation, so they would need to know his reputation extraordinarily well, and which they do, and that's why they were approved by him, you see? So if you can get approved by any one of those entities, then you're going to be A-OK. -okay. A-OK. -okay. Another thing. If you were to uh, subscribe to my Facebook page, you could glean some information from that. You can also glean information from my conversations many conversations on my page but i also have many conversations on many other people's pages you know uh svdl uh, uh had conversations with gay man i've had conversations with uh uh 
mostly the mostly the atheist white community is what I started semi banging on and didn't realize before I learned my heritage. That's who I was banging on, and didn't realize that there's no need to, 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 to wasting. Well, you're wasting very precious time attempting to uh, convince any anybody uh, other than Israelites. Sleep Israelites. Talk to them. It's the only. It's the only people worth speaking to. Sleep Israelites and self-identifying Israelites. Those are the only two entities worth speaking to in earth. You speak to anybody else. I don't care if you're doing your job. You're just doing your job and you're speaking to other people. Okay. Okay. That's fine. You, you may do that. I give you permission. Because sometimes they give you money. Sometimes they might give you 400 here. They might give you $1,000 here to do a job. To be their servant. To serve them. You might work at a restaurant, the Burger King and the Mickey, D, the Mickey D's that serve uh, little aborted babies in their in their food. You might work at the Wally World. You see, you might work anywhere, but what you are is a servant to those people, and 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 this was orchestrated. There's a paper bull that tells that told uh, the rulers to subject you to permanent slavery. They term it perpetual servitude. That is permanent slavery into foreverness to the end of time. Well, that's uh, they didn't realize that the end of time was the end of their time. So the end of their time happened already. Their time is up. Okay. So that's obvious. One of my elders have been saying time is up for many years now. <laughs> One of my elders has been saying that for at least seven years. Time is up. <laughs> and then he threatens... He kind of sounds kind of kooky when he talks because he's an Islamite. But he really feels that he is God for real and that he can become a hurricane. He can become an earthquake. He can become the tornadoes that destroy these things. He can become nature. And he threatens to kill the oppression, the oppressive society in many different ways, in many different locations. So I never heard him say anything specific enough to convince me that he is actually doing those things. You see? Like, he didn't say anything like, uh, I will cause a five, a five, uh, a five level hurricane, I mean, a five level tornado which is the strongest tornado in Tulsa, Oklahoma after the, the gay prior parade. So he never said anything as specific like that before something happened. So then I can't call him a prophet and there's no need for me to fear him at all. You understand? That's one of my elders. I'm telling you, he's a super genius now. Super genius. Got it. Got polite in them boys beat. Super duper smart. He's probably, I guess you want to call him about 64, 65 ish. See? See? Well, there's other things that, uh, you know, I've done in the community and stuff like that. You know, I, I don't, I don't even brag about it. Don't even talk about it at all. There's no need to, because what can you do about it? You, you're not going to donate and you're not going to help at all. But, <clears throat> Would you? I don't want you to help. I want you to do things around your house. I want you to clean up. I want you to wash the dishes in your house. I want you to sweep and mop your floor. I want you to vacuum your carpet. 
I want you to sweep off the porch. I want you to cut your grass. I want you to feed your family. So I attempted to, you know, teach these things of uh, different ways that I am more uh, familiar with on how to make money, like the, the real estate techniques and, and many other different techniques to making money. But of course, it was uh, 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 my efforts were drowned out by more charismatic people. So that's terrific and perfect, perfect, wonderful, perfect. I absolutely adore when people take my ideas now. When I was a kid at 18 and 19 and 17 and 16, I've been designing clothes since I was, uh, how old was I? I, th I think I did my first clothing design at eight years old. So that was in uh, 1986. I was eight years old. <clears throat> I did my first clothing design. This was before Carl Kanai and, and um, I, Carl Kanai and uh, what's his name? Maurice Malone, I want to say his name is. I forget the old, the old very first African American clothing designers. Uh, but uh, yeah, that was before all those guys. And uh, my uh, designs were stolen uh, multiple, multiple times throughout my life. But one of the times that uh, kind of hurt me to hurt me the most and turn me into a cynic of the Small Business Association and understanding that, beginning to understand that at least in that, at least in the uh, self, what do you call it? The, um, the uh, entrepreneurial world, right? That the, the monies are blocked the monies to your particular organization in many areas to throughout the that you know throughout the United States because everything that happens to me I have to I have to presume that only one going through I have to multiply what happened to me by millions of people throughout just the United States alone let alone the the whole world and then Multiply those things by years and years and uh, a thousand years, two thousand years. So this, these things have been happening forever. Now, but so this is why the Israelite paradigm is the only paradigm that makes perfect sense to me. God is controlling and orchestrating all these things, and when you do things that please God, the things that please God is taking care of His earthly family. Okay. And that's about it. That's all he asks you to do. I don't see a problem with that. And so when you do that, you are uh, extraordinarily blessed in, in ways that you can't imagine. Okay. And so if I were to go run down my testimony about the many multiple miracles throughout my lifetime that I've experienced uh you would say what everybody says about me that I'm insane but I have to I had to invent a new word for that div insane d i v i n s a n e div insane divine sanity I had to because I am rational. I am logical. Uh, I'm a realist, a super duper realist. You could call me something like a doubting Thomas type of uh, person. I'm a skeptic, a, 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 a proud to be a skeptic. I don't take nobody word for anything. I had to be shown all of these things. This is why I'm so impressed by people who have not seen and believe. <clears throat> this is why I don't bang on Christians very, very, very hard. I just uh, attempt to lovingly correct them. 
Because the first of all, the Bible tells you not to do that. It tells you if a Christian suffers uh, with us, then they're good to go. So stop playing. Banging on Christianity is an Albert Pike uh, comprehension of, 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 of manipulation. So Albert Pike in Morals and Dogma <coughs> says that uh, what we're going to do is take away, is, uh, is uh, slander the Jewishers, which are the Israelites, slander the uh, Christians, which are the Israelites, and then finally sl slander Islam, which you see is all Israelites, sleep Israelites, that recently announced in 2010 that they are part of Israel. Okay. And then they're, uh, they're run by a megalomaniac. A megalomaniac uh, that has a, a Edomite father. A white father, a white oppressive father. That had sex with a black woman. And produced a man. That is a megalomaniac. Maniac. So look that word up. I'll look it up for you. I'll look it up for you. Don't worry about it. Because I don't want you to be confused at the words that I'm using. Utilizing. You got to excuse my background. I'm close my door right quick. Hello. Maniac. That's right there. Even though I was spelling it wrong at first. The phone is pretty, pretty smart. Oh, he meant to make so many, huh? A person who is obsessed with their own power. That's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a person who is obsessed with their own power. So, of course, they're not going to uh, cause any form of uh, democratic uh, elect electorate or elect elections in order to have a... a, a, a a more competent ruler over them. Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Because the man, they, you, once you are the the king of something, you, is, is, you're addicted to it. It's just like the, the things that Jay-Z talks about, how he's, he, was, he had noticed that he had become addicted to the fame. You see? And so he had to kind of try to shake that off. You know, but ego is a great thing. So, you know, you got the, the unconscious community that tries to teach you to, to, to shed your ego, get rid of your ego. Nigga, we've been humiliated for hundreds of years, nigga. Now we're fighting to become free. We don't have no shame now, brother. We don't have no shame now, brother. You understand that? Why would... That's why ratchetness is 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 prevalent because nobody has any shame. Shame does not exist in our community anymore. You see the pride that these people are having uh, in 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 their in their debauchery. They take pride in that. You see the pride that the women are having in this their successes of. Uh, uh, Graduating from college with masters and bachelors and associates degrees and PhDs. You see the pride they take in winning the elections for taking the bench all over the country and taking this kingdom. That's what they're doing. They're taking this kingdom while you talking shit. You talking shit about them and they putting in work. So you got to love them in a different way. You got to go to them uh, in a, you got to have need a, you need a new approach. You need a PR uh, specialist to, uh, you need to hire a PR specialist. And what you need to do is go around to uh, the top dogs in our community, the creme de la creme, uh, 
you might as well just cancel Christmas on Puffy and Revolt TV because he's a he's a top top diggity dog. So any top diggity dog you see anywhere, they got uh Illuminati puppets in training up under them. So they're not like the white community that don't know that they what they're doing. Only the top diggity dogs in the white community, the the, the chief of police, the uh, the the uh, the sheriff. You see, these people are above the mayor. You don't realize that. You got uh, all all types of people throughout their their political structure that are gatekeepers. So in the Israelite community, or the sleep, excuse me, the sleep Israelite American community uh, well, I'm particularly talking about entertainment hip hop and you know that we're the rulers hip hop are the rulers so now the top diggity dogs within our community the sleep Israelite hip hop community uh, they're not the only they're not the only people who help to orchestrate the things that, that the puppet masters the Illuminati wants done you see, so you got you got dummies like Tupac that would say Kiluminati. Hey, that's why you died at 24 years old, 25 years old. That's why you die. Okay, so I got a video on my playlist that I can't cite for you. I'm not going to cite it for you because I can't remember. My memory is not uh, flawless like yours. <laughs> and I talk about. I talk about if you get in the way of the new world order, if you per attempt to prevent that in any way, shape, form, or fashion, you're a dead man. You know why? Because uh, the homie, right? The homie that I'm affiliated with, Swab Boss. <laughs> we had a conversation off air after I... Uh, uh, made the eloquent statement of the, uh, a common argument in the un unconscious community saying that uh, who did Satan kill? Satan only killed eight people or ten people or whatever they say. He only killed Job's, Job's wife, Job's kids, and four other people, five other, six other people. Now, he's the man. Now, that's somebody I can fuck with. God, God, that nigga killed everybody on the, on the earth. That, God is crazy. So, uh, that argument is uh, completely squ squashed by your by your very phrase, "black power." The, the 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 goal is power for you guys. That's your goal is to have power. Okay, so our goal is to be accepted by God, approved by God. The only way to do that is to take care of God's family on earth who are sleep Israelites. So if they cuss you out and they're thirsty and, and starving, feed them and, and give them something to drink anyway. That's how that works. You see? Or... Pray, pray that they get fed and get water if you don't have a sandwich and a, and, and a bottle of water. You see? And he's going to get fed and he's going to get a bottle of water by the very next person that comes along. You see? I'm trying to help you, man. I've seen these things. I've experienced these things. This is why it's so difficult for me to stay perfect because i have to see it so i tell these people jesus father jesus mother and jesus and the angels i tell them i have to see these things and i have to hear you talking to me <clears throat> so since i realize over time that they can also speak to you since you since you since I'm too stupid to hear their to pay attention to their their instructions in my te telepathically 
then I realize that they have to reach me in other ways <clears throat> through media, through uh, entertainment, through uh, the Bible, and through humans. So when humans say things, I'm listening for two things. I'm listening for lies and I'm listening for reality. So everything that a, that one person says, because that's what you people do. You say all day long, you flip flopping forth, back and forth. The Bible calls it double minded. You flip back and forth in your mind from reality to lying. And then half the time you don't even realize that you're lying. But the other half of the time you are willingly, purposely lying. And that's annoying to me. So I ignore your lies and pick up on your re reality part and anything that I don't know on your, uh, uh, about the, re the reality that you know something, then I'm going to uh, attach it and learn it and keep it in my brain because I don't have a per photographic memory like you guys, you see? So I'm going to, I'm going to learn those things. And then I'm going to, I'm not only going to learn them, I'm going to apply them. I'm not only going to apply them, I'm going to teach other people to learn them and, and apply them. That's just what I do all day long, every day. Everywhere I go. Everybody I talk to. These people know me. You know, because it's all well, only my, only my hood knows me, be, be honest with you, in, in the city. But, you know, the, uh, the, uh, Political structure in the city. <clears throat> Some of them know me now. The, the black people, <clears throat> because our, our city is now a black town. Now, now we got a black sheriff, a black uh, police chief. We got uh, we got a a black uh, clerk of courts. Clerk of courts. Good gracious, you know we got a, a black everything now. I mean, listen, bro. When I came here from Atlanta. At the age of nine years old in, in 1987, I got in my mother's van in Atlanta. I got in her van and we drove straight here to her hometown of Fayetteville, North Carolina <clears throat> in 1987. When I landed in Fayetteville, North Carolina in 1987, this place was 1952, 1953. I had went through a time warp. You don't understand how that fucked me up. In Atlanta, white people don't get away with what we see, what we're accustomed to seeing all over everywhere. You see? It just does not happen. You see? I got in my mother's van. We drove, I don't know how many miles that is, 800 miles, 700 miles or something to North Carolina, Fayetteville, North Carolina, landed right in here. As soon as I got out of the van, the clothes were different. I mean, I'm in 1952, 1953. The clothes were different. Everybody acted perfectly different. I mean, you understand how we be making fun of the, the coons and the, and, uh, uh, you know, I don't use the word Sambo anymore because Sambo is, is the man that everybody, the world knows as Buddha. So Sambo is a Judite. Sambo Judah is his name. And he, that is the original name of the worldwide known Buddha. So he was clearly an Israelite and he predicted, uh, the birth of Jesus Christ predicted it so that would make him a prophet you understand so i learned last night from uh, uh your boy Solomon that you guys like so much that constantine was a prophet he didn't even know and don't still to this day don't believe that constantine was a black man the byzantine empire is that the byzantine means black you don't know that let me look that up for you so you can see that let me look that up for you. 
<laughs> the Byzantine Empire conquered the damn stupid ass Tol Ptolemaic Empire. Okay. Byzantine Empire, also referred to as the Eastern Roman Empire or Byzantium, was the continuation of the Roman Empire and its eastern provinces during late antiquity and the Middle Ages, and its capital city was Constantinople. And, and Constantinople was in Turkey. Modern Istanbul, formerly Byzantium. This must be the oldest uh, uh, Wikipedia article in the world because it's still calling Turkey Istanbul. <laughs> That's funny. That's a hilarious, actually. Okay, so that happened from 610 AD to 1453 AD. So now, this is understood in the Bible as uh, the Roman Empire taking a, a, a deadly head wound and recovering. You see? So that's what this is understood as. All right? <clears throat> this is what you people don't know. That's because you don't care anything about the Bible, so you don't learn our information and don't care and don't think it's relevant <laughs> for some for some reason. I mean, because I guess you've been fooled and tricked by the many conversations that you had uh, in, in your big cities. Good thing God... uh. Put me in a small town where I couldn't have these conversations with people. Uh, see, I grew up an only child. Even though I have uh, two sisters, one dead now, and uh, three brothers. I'm talking about blood brothers. You know what I'm saying? Like from my father. And I have, you know, I had about a uh, five or six, uh, quite a few, hold on, about six, seven, eight uh, super homies that are ca that are called brother. <clears throat> and then, of course, my extended families, uh, the Bloods, and uh, so that would be Pretty Tony World, and uh, and another family that I'm in that I that I refuse to implicate because they're not ready for that type of implication and then my regular family you know what I'm saying the, the Washingtons and the, the Wesleys and the McCalls and and uh you know you know the people like that you know that's that's, that's attached to you all right so the, the, all these people What we do? Uh, where was I? Okay, I forget. Okay, so back to the lesson. Yeah, all these people don't, they, they ignore reality for the most part. <clears throat> or they think they're not smart enough to learn these things. So, I, you know, I, I, I pretty much kind of grew up alone. And don't have anybody to talk to about these things. You see what I'm saying? So I got I got one one super homie that I call brother. That's that's a a, a bona fide genius. So now everybody around me that speaks to to me becomes a bona fide genius. So I don't know how that happens. Okay, but it I guess it's like they they it, it's confu is it very confusing to them how I do things because. I'm doing things based on how things should be done. Wherein you doing things based on uh, whether or not you're mad. You see, you get mad and then do something crazy and then go to jail for the rest of your life. I get mad, go over here, attempt to produce something. And if I don't produce it, somebody got to pay. The person that made me mad got to pay. I'm not going to take it out on, on, on the next nigga. The random, the random next nigga that come along and take my anger out on that person. This is what you people do. You take your anger out on anybody because this, because your wife, your girlfriend made you mad. I'm not even going to use your girlfriend because that just is automatically going to happen all day, every day. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't retaliate on her. 
because she's raising your children. So that's, uh, you too dumb to even know that, that you shouldn't be putting your hands on your, on, on your woman. That's, that's why I just told you that my little brother died for that very reason. I warned him to stop putting his hands on his girlfriends, plural. Sure enough, he beat one of them down one night and then uh, went to, uh, uh, she went to the telephone, her, cell her cellular device, and uh, texted and called her, uh, her uh, brother. Was it her brother? Yeah, it was her brother. That's correct. Damn. So her brother came to her rescue and killed my uh, my brother. You think I got a, a bone to pick with that guy? Why would I retaliate on that guy? This is, is y'all problem. You defend the dead. People that can't defend themselves, they in the dirt. They, they, they don't have nothing to defend. They don't have no life to defend. Well, you don't defend no abortions at all. You're all Democrats. You love abortions. You go and pay and hustle and sell packs to get abortions. Have sex with every woman you see that you like. And then you pay if they get knocked up. I use that word on purpose. You pay for their abortion. You're an idiot. That's what you are. But let me get back to the lesson here. Because I just feel like ranting. I, I, I'm in such a great mood today that I can do that. <laughs> you know, uh, something was taken care of supernaturally once again. And uh, I'm still not used to it. I, You know, it surprises me every time because... Why? I mean, I'm so ratchet. I'm useless. I'm terrible. I'm the worst. And uh, so I don't understand why the ultimate homie always looks out for me and, 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 and takes care of things that I can't take care of. So you look up the Byzantine etymology, you, got, you pull up the, you know, the etymology, right? Relating to Byzantium, now... Now Turkey, I don't know why they keep calling it Istanbul, the Byzantine Empire or the Eastern Orthodox Church. You see that? The Eastern Orthodox Church. How about that? <laughs> now, I just told you that the Eastern Orthodox Church, I told you that in about 15 videos ago, that the Catholic Church comes out of the Eastern Orthodox Church. You didn't know that? Of course you didn't because you're, you're just an idiot. You don't care. You don't care what's going on around. You don't understand how this game works and don't care how this game works. You're living in a in a in a gigantic virtual video game. It's a it's virtual reality we're living in. I'm, I'm, we're wearing goggles right now. And can't see the, the real world, which is at heaven. You see? You you don't get it. Okay. Of an ornate artistic and architectural style and that developed in the Byzantine Empire and spread especially to Italy and Russia. The art is generally rich and stylized as in religious icons and the architecture typ typified by many domed, many or well, domed, highly decorated churches of a system characterized by deviousness or Underhanded procedure. Okay, so they, they, you know, they scared to let you know that it's uh, uh, the etymology of it. They just give you the purity definition of it. <laughs> this is, you see, this is this is this is what uh, this is what angers me about some <laughs> some some of these uh, etymological situations. They try to uh, they try to hide the real meaning of it. So these are all black people. So let's look up what what it's told us to look up. The Russian, okay, spread especially to Italy and Russia. The art is generally rich and, and stylized as in religious icons. Okay, so let's look up Russian icons then, uh, Italian icons. Uh, let's look up Italian icons first, just because that would just be 
Interesting. Italian <laughs> icons. And what year did what year did they say were you paying attention? <laughs> From 610 to 1453, correct? Okay. Now, Italian icons. Boom. Of course, they're going to give you modern. Then you insert a year. Uh, let's utilize the year. 700. 700 AD. You gotta say AD. Or, or you could say CE, common era, because they tried to change change the uh, designation of that times flip on purpose in order to uh, confuse you. They don't want you to know that the time was adjusted relating to the life of Jesus Christ or the birth of Jesus Christ. They don't, they're, they're trying to, over about another hundred years, everybody's going to forget that it was called before Christ and after after Domini, uh, whatever it's called, AD, is after the death of Christ. Or after the, uh, I mean, after the birth of Christ, I meant to say. You see? So Italian icon 780, let's look that up. See what we can see. And of course, why would they show you anything? You see, you think Google is smart now. I'm talking about they, 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 they smart now. So even though every patient on the face of the planet is on Google, it won't be shown to you. You know not to do that. You see, look at these. Why is this pure white people? The Metropolitan Museum of Art, Byzantium, circa 330 to 1453, after the birth of Christ. Right? And they show you some white people. Now, why would they do that? Why would they do that? You see? It's, it's, it's just retarded and ridiculous. But... Here we go. Let's look up Russian icons, though. See if I see if uh, it'll show something. Because you gotta you gotta remember that a lot of information is uh, protected from by copyright information, right? Copyright rights that allow them to <clears throat> monetize the use and the sharing of the information. You see. So, you won't find it with the Google search. You have to actually buy a $15,000 book. <laughs> a book for $15,000. Imagine that. You see? Or, or do something else. So, look here. Now, that's, that's kind of that's kind of copper tone. It's kind of copper tone. And look, hold on. Look how they whitewashed it. Look how they whitewashed it. Hold on a second here. Look at this. Right up under it. Why would they do this? Copper tone whitewash. <laughs> That's just a way it's funny. These people are maniacal. Okay. Now, this is what happened. That's what happened. So, okay, hold on. Let me find some more. Um, there we go. Just watch. Did you see that video right there? It says Russian icons. Check that out. I bet you it show you. Uh, I bet you show you exactly what I'm what I'm talking about here. So good. That's good for you to know that that uh, all those old kingdoms all up and all up and all up and in through the dark ages up until the 1400s. Well, it was a black black royalty, black royalty. All right. So like I was saying earlier, I got a homie. That I'm affiliated with, named Suave the Boss. Okay, and what 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 he does, what he did was, he grew five wrinkles in my brain with a conversation that we had off air yesterday. Soon as I uh, disrespected uh, the unconscious community's God, Satan, the the the, the conversation went off air 
<laughs> so somebody got mad that I disrespected they they king, and uh, so we were having a conversation off air for about you know uh, I don't know maybe about an hour. Who else was there with us? I think Madan was with us, and uh, Yehukanan was definitely with us. I remember that, and uh, Solomon was with us, and he was he was talking that smart, uh, intelligent uh, info talk as well till he fell asleep. And, uh, and so that's what happened. And so we was talking. And at the end of our conversation, man, he said something so profound that it, it fucked me up. It, 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 it adjusted my, my thought process yet again. So, I mean, you would consider me a super duper genius if uh, you had the right questions to ask me. Okay. I will teach you things that you ne would never uh, imagine. And, I, and I'm a dummy compared to God. I'm a dummy compared to Jesus. I'm a dummy compared to the wonderful mother, uh, the Holy Spirit. Okay. I'm a dummy compared to uh, a lot of, a lot of people in the, in the, Unconscious community like a uh, Dane Calloway. I'm a dummy compared to uh, polite. I'm, I'm a dummy compared to a lot of people. So now, I'm just telling you that he said something to me that was profound. That's why I was talking about my family earlier and my brothers and, and things like this because there was nobody I could talk to growing up, and the com the combo. Last night, this was like the first time I ever really sat down and talked to him about the stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times we on there and we laughing and joking. And we get into information quite a bit. And then it'd be, it'd be mostly information-based. And a lot of times we just disagreeing the whole time and trying our best to be as, as cordial as possible. But last night was a different dynamic. It was like uh, I had begged him. To uh, view things from my perspective, because this is something that I do. I hear people out, try to comprehend fully their thought process, their methodology, and their perspective on any particular matter, right? And then I try to, once I fully understand that entire matter from beginning to end, all right. Sometimes it takes a little interjection and, and, and what about this and what about that to, to get a full understanding of how they're thinking, how they're reaching their, their logical uh, conclusions and things of this nature all the way from the beginning to the end. And then you, you need to interject sometimes to uh, understand them fully, but they don't like that. See what I'm saying? So that's what happened. From beginning to end, that's what happened. And then uh, what I do is share my perspective. But people don't like to hear your perspective. No one gives a flying shit about your perspective. So what you need to do is take care of God's family on earth who are sleep Israelites and Self-identifying Israelites. So this includes Christians. This includes Jew. Uh, uh, well, maybe 0.0001% of Jews uh, or Jewishers. And then uh, all every last one of the NOI, or just about all of them except for the, their leader. And uh, other white or, or, or paternally white mixed um people i'm pretty sure there's lots of them in there because their leader is is uh paternally white mixed so since that's so acceptable to them i'm pretty sure they have thousands of members who have who are paternally white mixed you see and so that's what you do you, you take care of all of majority of those people you know and it's not it's not uh only uh relegated to 
the religions. You got to take care of the atheists as well, which is a religion. You so, well, see, the established religions, what I meant to say, the, the, the more known religions. So atheism is the biggest religion. There are more atheists than there are the established uh, known religions. So that's the only way to please God is to is to take care of of of, pe of people, but not just any and everybody. It's retarded what you do, what you're doing. You got a a, a, a conscience that's so deflicted because you see all the suffering and pain going on in in the, in the earth, and you decide to uh, save the dolphins, and go save the whales, and spend all your life. Raising funds for that instead of the, uh, ignoring the, the pain and suffering of the, of the humans that need it the most. Uh, you know, I don't see how that happens uh, other than, you know, the satanic media that, that, that steers you into that just like they're steering you into the Civil War. They're, they're orchestrating it. You see? So... He said something so profound last night that I grew five wrinkles in my brain simultaneously. And I felt it. And when I when I when I get that type of feeling, uh that something incredible is going on, I usually try to shut it down because uh it, it, it's uh that's 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 one of the things that scares me is uh well, well how how did how did sunset park put it uh you're so afraid of your greatness you're afraid of your greatness uh how, how you say you say uh mandela said uh you fear your greatness or something like that you see what i'm saying so i got that type of uh mental disturbance going on where you know, I don't like attention. I don't like uh, to be great, basically. You see, and so that's a that's a, a, a I don't know. Maybe one of you health professional, mental health professionals, can tell me uh, what that what that type of thing is called. But uh, he said something. Fuck me up. Fuck me up. So now, the orchestrators that I know, Israelite Paradigm is clearer than any other perspective I've ever come across. Okay, so it tells us that people rule the earth and that other people are being ruled by rulers. Okay, so uh, most of, you know, people that comprehend government and, and worship government know that. But you don't. You think you just working because you worked hard to get to work and get that job and land that job. You sat in, the, in there, presented yourself. You sat, you sat up straight. You you dressed to impress. You came in fifteen minutes early to the to the uh, interview, and you seduced that uh, interviewer, the manager, the, the 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 partner of the company, the CEO. Uh, the CFO, you know, you, you, you seduced them and you landed that job all on your own. That's what you atheists think. But the Israelites know that God c controls everything, every bit of it. So your job is to please his family in a kosher way talking about not going around sucking every, uh, everybody's dick literally and swallowing their, their nuts you see that's not what i'm talking about that's what you satanists talk about you see like you you uh you uh you uh egypto bots that's what you talk about sex sex everything sex you see so you think you think you, you that's how your ears are tuned when you hear people speaking that's all you hear is sex 
Okay? That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about pleasing them in a kosher way, in a, in a respectful way, and a, in a way that enriches their life, and and uh, and so they they can live more abundantly and things of that nature. So yeah, I'm on my bullshit today. I'm I'm ranting. Uh, yeah, this is a long video, and I'm not apologizing right at this moment because I'm I'm just too happy. So I got to take it out on somebody. Why not you? I got to try. To share my happiness with you so that you can comprehend that if you repent and pray and take care of God's family on earth, you too will see the things that I have seen, the miracles. There's too many to name. It's, I can't even remember them all. I can only remember the most memorable ones. And uh, I can probably remember probably about 15 or 16 of those. You see? Yeah, but they, I'm talking about, I'm literally talking about like hundreds. Hundreds of miracles, man. But uh, listen, so let's we'll uh, neither here nor there right at this moment. So what I'm talking about here is that he said something so profound that it fucked me up. Swallowed the boss. Okay, this, so this is what he said. All right. That's why I keep going back to the Israelite paradigm, which realizes that the earth is being ruled by by humans and by God. But it's, it's, it's generally and ultimately being controlled by God. So they, God, God is a they. God is plural. They control our our reality you living in a virtual reality okay they control it by way of humans we know these people as humans you see and and god calls them adam you see and so now you know and uh so now we understand that part right and so when you come, when you get down to um specifically or generally speaking um the ptolemies right the ptolemies were white people who conquered a black land egypt so they they conquered egypt white people conquered egypt see conquered egypt after conquering Egypt, they conquered Greece. Greece was also a black land before it was conquered by the Ptolemies. Okay, so now the Ptolemaic reign happened for a certain amount of time. I don't, I don't just don't feel like looking things up right at this moment. So just pay attention. The Ptolemies conquered the Middle East, Egypt, Northern Africa and Europe, which was a all black people all over the place. Then the Byzantine Empire. So this is what we know in the Bible as the Roman Empire, because the Ptolemaic Empire became the Roman Empire. The, 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 they conquered Rome. They conquered Italy. They conquered Greece. They conquered much of Europe, they conquered much of Northern Africa, they conquered uh, the Middle East, much of the Middle East, you see, and all these things, And but this was orchestrated by white people. This is what we know in the Israelite paradigm as uh, the Roman Empire, That's what we call it, okay? And that's what history calls it. And so the Byzantine Empire were black people. So now these, you're talking about black rulers, black royalty. They conquered the Ptolemaic Empire. So the whole, all those locations that I just said were replaced by black royalty. This ushered in the Dark Ages. 
that you don't know nothing about because when, every time you Google anything about it or look for a book on it, you can't do, f figure nothing out because it, you know, you got to, you got to go to the, you got to look things up. That's what I'm saying. So that's all black people. And then they moved into, they expanded the empire into Russia, Turkey, and things of that nature. They are the, the progenitors, the top, top dogs of the, uh, uh, what you call them people? Eastern Orthodoxy, Eastern Orthodox Church that you think was started by Haile Selassie. You can be more wrong, but you are very wrong. Okay, and then uh, out of Eastern Orthodoxy, the Catholic Church comes about, and then after, out of the Catholic Church comes the Protestantism and Lutheranism, Lutheranism, things of this nature. Okay, all the way down the line, blah blah blah. So this is what we call this is when when the when the black people uh, began to rule all over everywhere. This is what the Israelite paradigm knows as the Roman Empire taking a deadly wound to the head. Okay, so the Roman Empire died per se, you know, quote unquote. You know, the Roman Empire was no more. It was now called the Byzantine Empire. And then it reigned throughout the Dark Ages up until 1453. So then, and this is where you get the Moors from. From the Byzantine Empire. Okay. So then you get up to 1453, around that time-ish, right? Remember Columbus landed in uh, Hispaniola in 1492. You remember that? Of course, you remember that that part. But you don't you don't remember the black royalty before Columbus because you don't care too much, especially uh, especially the uh, autochthonous and, and, and indigenous people. They don't give a hot flying ass about that 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 side of the pond at all. So. Byzantine Empire ruled in 1453, and then the papal bull, of course, of, of, of the, 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 the Krakus boys that was relegated to to a prison in, in, in Italy, uh, which, which is known as the Vatican today, okay, uh, they, one of, the, one of them guys uh, conspired with the rest of the world, all the rest of the, the leaders around the world, uh, rest of the leaders around the world, uh, to to uh, conspire with everyone. White people got together, conspired together with all the rest of the rulers of the earth that, that you know that understand rulership and armies and and governance. They, 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 you don't care anything about it. You just want to survive and live your life i get that bro i understand so you know it's it's not a, it's not a big deal but i'm saying that in dumb diverses uh paper bull issued uh june 18th uh, 1452 by pope nicholas v they authorized alfonso the fifth of portugal to conquer the sons of sarah and pagans so that includes you atheists were were subjected to this pagans see and consigned them to permanent slavery what i talked about earlier perpetual servitude until for to forever to the end of time and i told you that it was they don't they didn't realize that they fucked up and that they uh <laughs> they they uh sealed their fate and the in their time is up and so they they caused a judgment on themselves. Remember the, the the way to please God is to uh, enrich and empower and cause an abundance life of resources within the Israelite family. 
Remember that? God, that's God's family on earth. Remember I said that? So this is, this is, he did the exact opposite. Pope Nicholas V did the exact opposite and coerced and convinced all the other rulers of the earth to do the exact same thing. So they caused a judgment on themselves that they cannot repay it ever. This is what, that's something we call hell. So now, when he did that in 1452, you got to remember that uh, the Byzantine Empire <laughs> you got to remember that the Byzantine Empire ended in 1453. You see how that works? So the, the, the Renaissance, the revised Roman Empire is what we call in the Israelite paradigm as uh, the Roman Empire coming back to life. So the, the, the Roman Empire uh, surviving the, the deadly wound, the deadly head wound and, and surviving it and, and it came back to life or you know what I'm saying, came back to life. So that's what that's what we're living under now. It's the we're literally living beneath. We're being ruled by the Roman Empire right now. So a lot of people want to call that the American Empire or something or whatever. You know what I mean? But it can't be the American Empire because you're ruling it together with the United Nations. <laughs> so that thing is the empire. So that includes a lot of different countries. So you can't, you can't individualize a country to, to an empire today because all the rulers are confederate together to wipe out Israel. That's just what they like to do. And that it's in order to please their God, Satan. But, uh, our God is, is, uh, much, is much more powerful than Satan. Much more powerful. So when you scream black power, you got to understand what power is and, and, and where it originates from. So like, say for example, you're in your house and you say, uh, you know what? I feel like turning the light on in my house. So you reach over across the, uh, across your bed, a little ways up to the lamp and you turn your lamp on and you're like, damn. That worked. That actually worked. You're not even surprised anymore. That light is in your house. Light comes from the sun. You know that? Light comes from electricity. How did you know that? From the development of science that the Most High is orchestrating. Orchestrating it all. You reach up and you turn the light on right next to your bed. You say, dang. You know, this information is getting pretty deep here. You see? So you turned your light on because it's getting dark. And never for a second thought, where does this light come from? Maybe somebody told you one day and you was like, oh, that's how it works. I can't believe it. Because generally speaking, you don't give a damn about how things work. How you think people get rich? Because they ask the most important question of how. The answer to how is obedience. It's the only answer. But, uh, you know, you guys want to compartmentalize your information. But uh, that's fine. Go ahead. That's great. So now, uh, you turned your light on. Now, <coughs> how did that light get in your house? Tell me. I mean, if 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 you had the knowledge of uh, of God, right, you would realize that uh, the light came in your house like this. 
got a story for you. Like to hear it, here it goes. Okay, so I'm uh caused somebody to discover glass. I caused somebody to discover the filament. I caused. You see where I'm going with this? Somebody to discover electricity. I caused somebody to harness electricity. <laughs> you know, all down the line, I'm talking about, you don't even understand the, the, the millions of things that had to happen for each one of those four things that I've just mentioned. So we're talking about 40 different, 40 million events that had to take place just for me to name those four different things that I haven't even got to your house yet. So now there is something called a, a, a general, a, 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 what do you call that place? Uh, the PwC, you know, the power, the power company, right? They got these, I don't even know what they're called, but they're, they're, there's a, 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 a football field worth of generators that's fenced off in your city, all over your city, everywhere, in order to provide lighting for your city. <clears throat> and so from, from, those, from those fields of fields of uh, gener generator locations, uh, they go through wires, uh, through the, uh, what do you call those, light poles, and, you know, light poles. And then on every light pole, they, they, put, they put a light for you to see the wires. And see how electricity is flowing through all those wires to get down to your neighborhood, and then it goes into a generator inside in, within your neighborhood, and then it it it, it uh, splinters off into every house in your neighborhood. The green box, you see, the green box that you're sitting on, smoking weed on. You see what I'm saying? That is uh what splits off into all the houses in your neighborhood. And sometimes you need multiple uh, green boxes in your neighborhood because, you know, that's just how it works. So this is what I'm trying to, this is what I'm telling you. God is, is, is not the green box. God isn't the, 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 the football field worth of power generators. God is not uh, the power company. God is not the discoverer of, of those things, uh, you know, to make all this shit that I'm talking about happen. God is the absolute source of power, period. Power. When you scream black power, you're actually saying God. That's what you're saying. <laughs> you, you're actually saying God. You're saying black power. Black power. You're saying the most high, the most high. That's what you're really saying. But you, you're unaware of it. You don't know what you're doing. And so therefore you misuse the most high. You misuse black power because you don't know how it flows into your house the way you reached over and turned the light on the lamp on beside your bed you know realize how all that happens so what you do is you 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 slap your lamp over and say this shit ain't working this shit don't work your your, your light bulb blows and you throw the lamp away that's what you did you see you're disconnected from power, from black power, from the most high. You're disconnected. I, I'm just letting you know. So now the uh, the brother, Swab the Boss, said something so profound last night. I know this. Of course, this is the fifth time I said it. I'm a blood, nigga. Deal with it. Well, come see me. Either way, you know, we can... Uh, Enjoy a, a, a wonderful steak dinner. 
Yes, sir. I love a, a, a good steak Diane, you know, with, with, with Worcestershire sauce. However you want to pronounce it, Worcestershire or whatever. Can't have a steak Diane without Worcestershire sauce. Hold the mushrooms. We're not allowed to eat mushrooms. <laughs> so now... Let me tell you what he said. He said that it appeared to him in his mind that, at, you know, I, I, I like to say that I kind of inspired this thought, but he said it so fast and he thinks so fast that I, I, I have to presume, and I know I'm presuming correctly, that he already been thinking this information for a long time that he that I'm about to share with you. He said that the Moors, right? <clears throat> you know how Israelites got a real problem with the Moors, but we're very cordial. We ain't banged on y'all like that real heavy and, and you guys are so productive. Neo Moors are so productive that it's hard to bang on them because they just get shit done. You understand? And they don't play no games and they have regular meetings and, and all this, you know what I'm saying? And they getting shit together, you know? So you got to admire that. So now, but really in the back of our minds, for real, uh, you, you, you more people, uh, we got a real problem with you because I mean, you, you just, well, your ancestors, excuse me, your ancestors, not Neo Moors, but your ancestors <laughs> sold us out. And you, you, you don't, you don't honor that. That's a reality. Remember I said, whenever I'm listening to somebody, you guys are constantly going back and forth through, through a line of truth. And I, I glean everything that they say is true. And if I'm unaware of their, their, the truth that they know, then I incorporate it and learn it and apply it and teach it and make and and uh com try to inspire them to apply the information remember i said that so you moors it completely ignore our contention that your ancestors sold us out it's like you honor that you don't have no problem with that at all so so the man swallowed the boss said that it appeared to him that your ancestors have been doing that throughout time and that you just metamorph into the next ruling civilization and you camouflage yourself as the next rule as, as the next ruling civilization is what it's that's what it seems like to him that there's a that there's black royalty that is manipulating everything just like I said that God manipulates everything. He said it appears to him that who we know recently as the Moors from you know 17 whatever the Treaty of Peace and Friendship in 1700s or whatever you know what I'm saying like that the, the, the new Moors, those are pretty old Moors. Those are like classic, classical Moors, classic Moors, you see? Or, or, or vintage Moors, you know what I'm saying? But the Neo Moors, they're pretty decent. But you guys don't even give a fuck that your ancestors did that. Now, why is that? <laughs> And it may, now it makes sense to me because bro said that you guys just reinvent yourself whenever the leadership changes hands throughout the earth. As leadership is going up and down through the different names and different uh, wars and all the, the bodies that, 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 that pile up that I attribute to God. 
he is attributing to the Moors and, and saying that, you know, it, it, they, could, they could have been called something else and this, that, and the third. So that, that, that changed my, my, and clarified my perspective that, you know, that's the Israelite perspective, of course. And, uh, because it appears to me, I told I told him this, and then I ended the conversation because my my brain was tingling too too tough, and it was uh it was when I get when I get the feeling that something powerful is happening, greatness is about to occur, then generally I shut down, shut the shut the conversation down, or you know shut the the process down, in order for me to process what I'm learning, what I'm experiencing, what I'm going through, because I don't, I don't want to, I don't know, I think I got, I suppose you, uh, there's some type of fear of uh, like a short circuit or something that like, it's, it's too powerful. It's too amazing. And I can't, I, it's just, oh yeah, that's why. Yeah. Because I've experienced that short circuit. Yeah. So when I saw the, uh, the wonderful sun, right. I short circuited that way. I saw a literal humanoid sun. So that's that's power. This is why I don't lift weights like I used to back in my football days when I was in, in, in actual real good shape before I started smoking cigarettes. Because the Bible says that obedience is better than weightlifting, better than exercising. I mean, not general exercising for your for your cardiovascular health and stuff like that what i'm talking about uh uh body body building body sculpting okay so now uh i'm in a uh oh that 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 thought process got me to the point where i'm looking at I'm exploring. That's what I, you know, so that's what I do. That's my natural thing is to, I listen to somebody's perspective and I try to understand it fully from beginning to end. And then I share my paradigm with them and hope, hoping to spark some type of new type of uh, conversation, or, you know what I'm saying? Like, so we can invent some something here. That's what, you know, that's what inventions, that's where inventions come from, where, uh, yeah, I know math real good. Oh, yeah. Well, I know electro engineering real good. Oh yeah. Well, I know how to build things real good. Well, you know we can make something that 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 can cut the grass instead of this instead of this sickle here. We can make something better than a sickle. You know you know what we'll call this? We gonna call this the lawnmower. That comes from uh, varying expertises, getting together and, and, and brainstorming and understanding each other without contention. And then an invention comes along, just like the light bulb that I was talking about. This comes from civil, civilized conversation, which the Moors have perfected, civiliz civilizing, is being, being civilized and acting civilized, behaving themselves, uh, acting royal, regal. This is another reason why they're admired so much. Because they're uh, practicing mores or regal-ish. You see? Now, so I'm exploring his perspective. I said, so this is, this is my methodology. If this is true, then this got to be true. And then I test that. And if it fails, then my logic is off faulty. So I change, I, I, then I find some new information where, I, so I got to have all the reality in my brain. 
as I possibly can get. <laughs> For the purpose of, of mastering obedience and humility. That's the reason that I get uh, as much information as possible. So now, because it's annoying when somebody says something and you know the answer 100%, right? And somebody said, no, that ain't the answer. That's annoying. So uh, I used to I used to go crazy when somebody disagreed with me. So I no longer do that now. I, disagreement doesn't bother me at all whatsoever. The only thing that bothers me is poor behavior. So that's that's the answer is proper behavior. OK. Obedience, humility, proper behavior. And so a lot of people think they know how to how to properly behave and does all this stuff right here. But listen, bro, the, the only proper behavior is taking care of particular people, not taking care of uh, mice and taking care and, and protecting, protecting uh, the lobster industry. It's not. Spending your whole life protecting and cultivating the shrimp industry and the crab industry. This is what you people do. You spend your whole life cultivating and, and, and enriching the wrong things. <clears throat> You're supposed to be cultivating and enriching and causing a, an abundant life for Israelites, both sleep and self-identifying. So that is what the white world has done through the Renaissance, through, through the revised Roman Empire. They, they survived the uh, deadly head wound and they live again now. This is what they have done for their people. They have, they're, the replace, they're your replacements. You're the rulers and now you're the, the tail. They're your head, and we're the tail. <clears throat> so your goal and job in life should be to go to the tail, grab the tail, pull it off like a tapeworm, and allow it to grow a new head. You see? You see? Or like a lizard. Maybe that's more uh, understandable. You know how lizards can grow a new tail, though. But a tapeworm can grow a new head. How do they imagine that? <laughs> now you got two tapeworms. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, that's, now that's pretty spectacular <laughs> and funny and amazing. And so... <laughs> That uh, so that line of thinking got me. His perspective got me to thinking: Who is this royal family? This royal black family that he's talking about? That's manipulating everything that I attribute to being God manipulating everything. So I mean, we 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 finally came to a, like a crossroads, like a, something that we very highly agree on. This was like the first time we may have ever done that, other than you know just uh, entertainment, how we you know agree on my minor things, like uh, his understanding of uh, how love should be should be amplified at all times, and then when you're angry, to show more love. Or, and then, then, then the the person that's angry with you, and this will uh, cause the person that's angry with you to love you back. So, if somebody gets angry with you, uh, you amplify your love and 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 get more aggressive with your love in order to make them no longer angry with you. This is type of, it's the type of mentality that he has. And uh, this is a type of mentality that I try to teach everybody I come across. So I never met anybody that thought like me. You see what I'm saying? 
So, uh, and I've, I've always dreaded <laughs> meeting somebody that thought like me because I know, I know what I do and I know how things happen. So, uh, but now that I'm the new me, the new creature, uh, that conversation may have been, uh, uh, a conversation that I, that I have been wanting to have for years <clears throat> because of, of, because of the results that happened, you know what I mean? The, the, the five wrinkles that grew in my brain. So, like I said, the, I didn't have anybody to talk to growing up and all this, that third grew up the only child, you know, I got two, two sisters, three brothers and all this. I, I told you that, told you about the, all the different families that I'm in and that, this, that third. And then, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying that I didn't have anybody to talk to because, uh, I'm a genius from the future. You see what I'm saying? And so, uh, because I don't have the, the language, it's like a baby. It's like a baby, you know, you know, babies, no more than you could ever know you, you, that you could ever learn your entire life, but they can't speak. They can't talk. So since they can't talk, they forget everything that they knew in the womb and before the womb, when they was in heaven, chilling in heaven, everybody here is on a pilgrimage. Everybody on earth is on a pilgrimage from heaven. So y'all were chilling in heaven. It was my turn for the for the pilgrimage. Okay, I'm going to go, going into the womb. You done dove into somebody's womb through a man, dove directly into a woman's womb, found you an egg, and and, and settled in there, and, and 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 got into the fetal position immediately. Oh, this is nice and warm in here. Now you here on Earth. You didn't survive the Matrix. You here on Earth. The Matrix is the womb. And so that's what happened. You came in into this realm, into this era, this thing here. And you've got what's going on. So now. You couldn't talk. You knew that. You knew all that when you was a baby. And you miss your homies. That you was chilling with in heaven. And you miss the ultimate homie that you was chilling with in heaven. So now you here on earth this hell hole. And you can't understand nothing. Everybody's dumb. You ain't got nobody to talk to. See what I'm saying? So you didn't know how to talk. So your mama said mama 75 times a day so that your first word will be mama. Your daddy told you the word daddy 30 times a day. So that your first word would be daddy. But your first word was mama. So I'm saying that to say that this right here. My brain. Is so much more advanced than all you clowns brains. I, I can't I can't even, I can't take it. I don't have. The words to express everything that I know. So I have to use descriptions and then I'll be forgetting descriptive words because I don't have the language to explain to you reality. See, I don't flip-flop in my conversation 
between lies and reality. If I make a, a mistake or don't know something and, the, and something that I say is wrong, hopefully somebody that's listening can correct me. And so this is why we're trained to accept correction. But every now and again, we need excess proof of your correction. Because now you're telling me a new perspective that I didn't know anything about. So I'm going to need some evidence to convince me to add your, the, the, the truth that I didn't know into my mind. I can't just willy-nilly just add any lie into my brain because listen, I, listen how I talk. I ain't got no time for no lies. Lies don't fit in my head at all. They can't fit. My, my brain be working. It's got shit to do. Every time there's a lie in the way in my brain, oh, that's a lie. And then I just move on to so I can find the information. I need reality. How you how you make this lawn more? You still cutting grass with a sickle. This is how we look to uh, rulers. Rulers see that we got one percent of the of the wealth on the planet, and they they they're annoyed. They they, they laugh. They, who cares? And they don't care at the same time. <laughs> you see, they don't give a fuck. But they've taken the wrong path which caused an infinite debt that they cannot satisfy. They can't even possibly redress it. Now they've uh, uh, broke the camel's back. It's just a straw that broke the camel's back. They literally control the Israelite inheritance. They don't understand that God controls everything which I had met up to the pinnacle to the to the top of the to the top of the pyramid with with Suave and found out his perspective on that is that a earthly black royal family is controlling everything and they reinvent themselves as the uh or they, you know, they 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 they're, they're camouflaging themselves. Or see, from my mind, they they are saying who they are from from beginning to end because because they do not lie, can't lie. So they are monitoring our uh, progress. Is what I'm looking at here. You know, that's, a, that's something that I had thought about as well. His perspective is that a black royal family is manipulating everything on the planet. And all these white people and then Arabs and Chinese and everything are being manipulated by that black royal family. So now when I look back throughout time, or who are these people worshiping? And then you see the black Madonna. And then you got a mockery called the Madonna, the, the white Madonna that was a singer. And then you see in, 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 uh, in, in what's that? Nana, Nana, uh, Nana. Il Nana, right? Which is a black. It's black people and 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 that other girl, Nunaguchi or whatever fuck her name is. That's the satanic side. So it's a it's a black royal family on the satanic side. That's that's manipulating things. There's a black royal family on the on the Most High and the wonderful Son and the wonderful Mother side. Manipulating things, and they're constantly. Uh,
the satanic side is constantly warring with the the, the light side. In the human, this is a human paradigm that I'm talk, that I'm discussing here. Constantly doing this, They're constantly warring with, with each other, and so. Uh, That's what I. That's what I saw. That's what I, I mean. That's what, just what I'm thinking because, uh, that's just obvious to me. <clears throat> but it's also uh, influenced by uh, real knowledge. You know what I'm saying? It's like uh, 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 Muhammad doesn't have any witnesses. To his information at all. See what I'm saying? So, the 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 record, the human record that has the the most witnesses, has the largest following, that has the best reputation, and exudes the most power in Earth, is the biblical record. That's black power. That's what you call black power. That's what we call the most high. <laughs> and he related it to a human level that instantly caused five wrinkles in my brain. Tighten it right on up. So my brain instantly, about a, about a half a second later, when I said, when I, I'm talking about the light bulb came on, he reached over into my brain and turned the light bulb on. Once that happened, my brain about a half a second later went straight to the Black Madonna, knowing how rulership, how the hierarchy of rulership is 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 going going on on earth here in earth here you got you got uh the emperors you got the kings kings are ruled by emperors and then emperors are ruled by uh a, a title called his holiness see but you, you don't see not nowhere, nan, nowhere, her, uh, her holiness. And and what pope on the face of the planet has ever been married, I think? That's a good question, too. What pope in earth has ever been married? I know, there's probably, probably quite a few. I'm unaware of it. I, and I don't give a flying high ass. Okay. I'm just expressing to you what I expressed to you. <laughs> that the Ptolemies are Satan in earth. They had a more a mortal head wound by the Byzantine Empire who were black people. And then they survived the mortal head wound when they uh, performed the Renaissance. And so we see here that the renaissance i don't know when it began let me look it up for you but i'm uh, we, we just we just saw that the byzantine empire the black empire uh their mid medieval times uh ended six months uh, or a year a year after this paper bull dumb the verses that was uh issued by the white the white conglomerate so these are these are, these are your satanic these are your satanic family that this is just a satanic humanoid people human people you know <laughs> you got to say humanoid because you know uh satan is a real entity as well like the spiritual satan is a real entity a real uh disembodied angel that has never been human and it, it, its goal in life is to become human, and so uh, he, um, you know, they have 
kids with with that with that angel. So that angel uh, 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 takes over bodies. It's called possession. It's called possession when they take over a body. And uh, the most recent body that it took over was uh, Barack Obama. You see, and from my studies, uh, that being Barack Obama is the actual humanoid Satan. That that they that Satan finally accomplished his goal in life throughout his immortality or his imminent death. As, uh, to to finally become human, and that's that's what it that's what my studies uh, have shown me that Satan has been trying all of his existence to become one of the uh, people that uh, God loves. And force God to love him in the most cold, cold, in the most uh, covert way and, and and silly way by becoming human. <clears throat> but then every time, but his nature is 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 to just to do what he what he was designed to do. Okay, because once you go against God. Your programming changes to continue to go against God for the, forever. Well, I mean, once you dedicate yourself to going against God, so you see what I'm saying. So, you, just like we dedicate ourselves to repentance and perfection of behavior, and and realizing things that we where we mess up, and then trying to do better, <clears throat> Satan purposely. Uh, realizes where he did something correct and tries to do worse. Oh, man. I blessed him too much. Uh, make sure I torture him next time. So that's Satan's thought process. Just to wax worse and worse. <laughs> so now, that is an interesting um bit of knowledge that you should develop <clears throat> in your uh, proper speech and proper English language and your proper Hebrew and all that madness that you guys do. You say, <coughs> it can't be true because he didn't say it correctly. He didn't, he didn't use proper English. He didn't cite his sources properly. Uh, and the uh, brother, I don't need to cite anything. I don't, I don't see the Israelite community often misquotes Second Timothy, where it says, "Study to show yourself approved to God, rightly dividing in this, that, and the third, right? But they always stop at approved. Study to show yourself approved, <laughs> because the kind of their connotation is that they need for other humans to approve of them. And so this is the new uh, development that's that's going out into the atmosphere now. I mean, I've already uh, blown the, 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 the abortion uh, abortion information uh, uh, to, to, I mean, it's everywhere now. I, I told you a long time ago that I got dang, uh, was a member of LEARN, L-E-A-R-N, the acronym, under uh, the pastor that you see, Pastor Hunt, that you see in uh <coughs> In my Alpha 21, my Alpha 21 talks about the history of Planned Parenthood. I was, that pastor that you see is from Fayetteville, North Carolina. He got one of the biggest churches in Fayetteville, North Carolina. I, he was, he was my mentor. That's my mentor. That's one of my, 
one of my favorite mentors. I don't even call him an elder. I call him a mentor. You see? So you can't my 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 spot in the in the uh the 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 activist community is solidified. You can't you can't do anything about it. Mr. Tone talks, you can't do anything about it. I understand you're attorney and all that. And uh and you're doing mega conferences in, in order to attract the monies to yourself. That doesn't bother me whatsoever. Doesn't bother me at all. I, I want Ados <laughs> to uh, to get reparations. I I fight for it daily. You understand? See? But you know that took a conversation. So it took years and years of talking about it, and and it it was it was completely irrelevant. <laughs> it was completely irrelevant just a few years ago. But. How is it that as soon as I start promoting something and it gets into the proper ears and the Holy Spirit that I'm transferring into the listener is moving around until it gets to the right spot like tiny he's a coats. How does that happen? And then tiny he's a coats shares the, the Holy Spirit that I shared with him through the millions of people that damn that it went through one at a time. That's why it takes so long for my messages to manifest because I don't have an audience. So the one person that I transferred that Holy Spirit to the, the, out of the, you know, I got 20 viewers, right? One of those viewers told somebody what I said <clears throat> or shared my video or something. And then one of those viewers got the message to the next viewer, the next viewer, the next viewer, the next viewer a million times. That's why it takes so long for something I say to manifest. Because nobody cares about reality. Everybody's bald heads. Everybody is dedicated to lying. They're dedicated to lying. Just like that boy gorilla said that it's, it's perfectly okay to lie. And just like in Islam, it says it's perfectly okay to, to lie. <laughs> this is why stuff don't get done. Because you can't lie. All liars are going to uh, have the second death. So this, that's a problem. That's why it's, it takes so long for these things to happen. Because you not you you you're not you're not fully dedicated to reality. So reality takes evidence. Evidence. Okay, so faith is the evidence. Faith is the evidence. Faith is the only evidence. See what I'm saying? I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Faith is the only evidence, the only answer to every question is obedience. Now, check this out. Faith. I'll leave you with this because I've done quite a bit of ranting and I don't have any viewers as it is. So this is a very long unsighted because I don't care today source because listen, I don't have shit to prove at all. I'm, 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 I'm what you call feeling myself. Hebrews 11 and one. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Faith is the substance so faith is a substance of things hoped for. This this substance is what what you call in strings theory, uh, super strings. It's, you know, 
super strings. Everything's connected. Uh, all these, you know, uh, philosophical way to put it. You know, everything's connected. <laughs> but faith is the substance of things hoped for. And faith is evidence of things not seen. So the, the discoveries of the atom and the discoveries of electricity and this discovers, discoveries of anything is was not seen before it was discovered but it was it was already known to god it's already known and who's god god is a black royal human family on the on the earth in the in the earth god is a black royal family in the earth i'm gonna leave you with that